Some people believe that holding on, trying hard and persevering makes one strong. I'm not going to say that that's wrong, but I also believe that knowing when to let go and letting go also makes you strong. What's up you guys, Aditi. Welcome back to our channel. Throughout my life, I have quit many things. I have quit two jobs, two careers, relationships, even a calligraphy course I was doing last year. So I am a quitter. And I've said mean things to me over the years, like many people around me have. Things like, you don't try harder. You never finish anything that you start. You are lazy. You are pathetic. What the hell is wrong with you? You just don't have what it takes to go the distance. You never stick to anything. Does that seem similar to you? Because I do feel like a quitter every time I quit something. And all of this negative thought makes me feel like a quitter. And I came to a point when I started to ask myself, walking away, not completing anything I begin, I start, does that really mean quitting? And the answer I um, thought of was yes and no. So if you Google the meaning of to quit, so Google says to leave a place usually permanently or to get rid of something. What if the word to quit has got this negative connotation to it? What if to quit can actually be a positive thing as well? What if we have got used to sort of desensitized to listening to all the people around us, our parents, our friends, neighbors, partners even calling us quitters because we quit a lot of things. What if when we are actually quitting and when we are labeling ourselves as quitters, we are actually following our intuition that we usually tend to ignore. So let me tell you my story that I've studied law for three years. Then I, after I graduated, I started working in a company, in the legal department of a company. And I very early, I realized that I really don't like working here, working in a nine to five, nine to six job at, at a desk and reporting to a boss. I, I just did not like that. I quit that. And then I started working with an advocate in litigation field. So what I mean by advocate in litigation field is um, basically going to courts, appearing in courts on behalf of their clients. So I have literally appeared in all the courts that are in Mumbai because I live in Mumbai. And within six months of working with my senior, I realized I really don't like it. Uh, I realized that my personality wasn't <laughs> cut out for this field. Even after realizing all of this, I still didn't leave that job. I just did not have the guts. I have done both those jobs for three years, um, the total of three years, and I did not have the guts to leave. I had had left, I had quit so many things in my life. I was studying French when I was doing studying BCom. I quit that. I mean, I did it up to a point, and then I quit. I could have been a French translator. I didn't do that. I was um, doing company secretary when I was studying law. I quit that as well. I was learning to play guitar when I was in law school. I quit that. So after putting so many things, I just had this one question like, I should, I, I want to quit law too. I mean, nobody forced me to do it. I chose to do it. I wanted to be a lawyer when I was 19 and now I don't want to do this as well. And I felt ashamed of myself for making my parents spend so much money on my education, you know. Um, I felt like a failure. I felt terrible for putting my parents through this, through all the stress because I was so confused with what I wanted to do for the entirety of my life. So I kind of was stuck there in that job for another year because of all this 
as well as i just did not know what i wanted to do i was so lost and i was feeling miserable and even if it was miserable i still kind of got comfortable with it because it was like a set life and i did want to get out, get out of that rut but i wasn't because i did not know what i could do i was afraid of the unknown i was just afraid of everything so i just stuck there for another year but then my friend actually encouraged me to quit that job not like quit law in entirety but just take a sabbatical you know like just just don't work for like a month or so and then you can figure out what you want to do in that month because you'll be free you will not be pressurized with that job you will not be stressed about it going there and working there for for 10 to 12 hours because i should leave my house at 9:30 i have to come back home by 8:30 9 in the night so i have to kind of work for almost 12 hours and then you don't have that peace of mind when you even when you get home because you're so exhausted so taking that month off would give me that breathing space and also some time to think about what i want to do do i want to get back to law do i want to try another sector in law out or maybe i want to learn something new try something out maybe do something with my bcom degree what do i want to do so i just took that one month of break um and i could do that just because of my friend actually pushed me so just like me people tend to stay in their jobs in their relationships or whatever situation they are in because they are afraid to try new things out they are afraid of the unknown they are afraid of failures they kind of get too comfortable like the way i did i was miserable i'm not going to lie but in in some way i had got it it had become my comfort zone so when i quit that job when i got out of my comfort zone life actually opened up to me so even when i was working as a lawyer during that one year of being miserable i was also teaching french in this small class on the weekend so i did have that i just left the legal job so after taking sabbatical quitting the job um i kind of wasn't like at home i used to go and teach there during the weekends but um as of a couple of weeks went by i did get little more tuitions just i think just two actually for the end of it's already the end of the academic year right so that's how i started teaching french actually which i wouldn't be able to do full time and i wouldn't get so much of time if i would have continued with that job like i said i was to work there for like 11 to 12 hours or so so now because i have so much of time from teaching um i have my mornings free because all of my students have school or college in the morning so i can i thought of um getting the psychology degree that i always wanted to get so i thought of why not doing this and then i started this youtube channel because i had a little more time on my hands as well and life's been great i would say so i'm really thankful and grateful to my friend who actually pushed me to take the plunge to get out of my comfort zone leave that job and i want to be that friend to all of you whoever um are at that brim or at that edge and really want to just quit take the leap of faith i really want you to so yes i did quit a lot of things in my life but when i look back i think that i was not being a quitter i was just being true to myself so think about this uh you are not leaving this job or this and you're continuing and studying this towards this career that you really don't enjoy you're not interested in um for whatever reason for whatever reason and think about this when you graduate you get a job obviously if you are not, if you weren't interested in studying that i'm assuming you will not be enjoying the job either you're already in this job that you don't really enjoy you're, you're sort of miserable but you're still not quitting think about this that you have to show up in this workplace and do this job where your heart's not in it for 5 to 6 times a week and around 8 to 9 hours a day 
let's say that you got this job when you're 23 25 years old and we kind of retire around 65 years 67 years so if you do the math here um, you do the math uh, i'm just going to spit ball <laughs> Uh, that's around 60 to 80 percent of our lives. Wow, that's I think that's a lot. That's that's a lot. 60 to 80 percent of your life of being miserable and unhappy. That's a lot. If you are prepared to do that, go ahead. Uh, who am I to tell you anything, right? And this principle applies to anything, any situation in your life. It's not just about jobs and careers it applies to friendships and relationships any sports activities hobbies anything any 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 situation so always ask yourself that are you reaping anything in the long run out of this misery are you and if you say that oh i am earning a lot of money by showing up, doing this job, however miserable you may be, you don't feel miserable because you're earning like one crore a month or whatever your salary is or would be. Um, if that, if that is your end goal, and if that's why you are working and showing up every day to your workplace or whatever, whichever situation you're in, you do you. I mean, who am I to to say anything to you, right? So if money is the ultimate goal of yours, uh, Kudos. <laughs> then this, I, I guess this uh, video is not for you. Actually. Anyway, coming back to the topic, all I want to say is quit the struggle you're experiencing with this quitter label because it's not going to serve you. It's never going to serve you, and it's not who you really are. If you know deep down that something doesn't feel right, if you know you're not meant to be with the person you're with. In the job you're in or doing the work you're doing then walking away from it does not make you a quitter it makes you empowered it means you have guts it means you are strong enough and you are tuned in with yourself it means you're following your intuition it means you know that your time and energy is best spent in doing something else it means you are on the wrong path and you are brave enough to realize that and change direction. I'm going to reiterate myself. You are brave, you're strong. It means you're taking responsibility for your happiness. It means you value yourself. So does this mean you will quit everything in your life? Hell no, no, of course not. When you try new things out, you will find something that interests you and you'll find something that you don't. And when you do find what's right for you, you will stick with it. I did find this one quote that I really really liked and I want to um, read it out to you. But turning over several stones to find the diamond instead of settling down for the safety of the first thing you find is a journey very few are prepared to walk. Um, I hope I don't have to explain this and you get the gist of it. So keeping this in mind, I just want to say that you are amazing to choose yourself and to be true to yourself because finding what fits you, what suits you, what interests you, it takes time, it's a process because Rome wasn't built in a day. So don't be afraid to keep moving and don't be afraid to quit. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED talk. I hope this video was good. You liked it, you were inspired by it. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if it did. Uh, if you have any questions about psychology, career, vagara vagara, about me, my personal life as well, you can find it in the two Q and A's I've already made, and also in the psych career playlist. You can find all the videos there. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next Friday with another psychology video.